Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Today is Titus chapter 2. Let me reflect back on yesterday. Did you go and take the test of the nine fruits of the Spirit? Um, let me give you a little reminder on what they are, okay, if you haven't. It's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So as you go through those nine and rate maybe where you're at on a scale of one to nine, I'm going to just pick one. I'm overwhelmed of where I'm missing the mark through those nine. So I'm going to pick one and I'm just going to start working on that. This is kind of how I address the test because I, I just, I can't work on all of them today. So I pick self-control. Uh, there's areas in my life that I need to work on for self-control. I'm just blown away as I did that yesterday of what came up today for my grip. All right. Just God's way of, I think, winking and saying, I know right where you're at, my son. Here we go. You ready? Today's Titus 2, verses 11 and 12 for me. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. Guys, how, how does God do that? Take a test of the nine. I circled self-control and said, Lord, I'm going to need help on that. In today's reading in chapter 2, these two verses rose up. And of course, self-controlled is there. It's like, Lord, I get it. I get it. Remember when there's a pattern or Lord brings things up as you're reading, we probably need to stop and take notice. So I'm going to take notice for sure. I'm not going to miss what he, I believe he's trying to tell me. So my reveal is how, how did your test go uh, on the nine fruits of the spirit? Well, God just revealed and confirmed deeply that self-control is my one to start working on. My implementation is the worldly passions of money, fame, greed are so loud out in this world's um, revealing. I need more of a self-controlled life. I need to adopt a, a simple phrase, less is more. Lord, my prayer, Lord, please build me into a man of self-control. Teach me to say no to any in all of the passions of this world. So guys, that's I'm just being transparent. That's where I'm at. Um, there's still things that I want or I want more of, and uh, God has definitely challenged me to be more self-controlled. All right? Love to hear there's one in there. Um, patience would have been a quick number two for me, but I'm just going to take one and just work on that one for right now. Okay. Love to hear which one you're working on. If you, if you feel comfortable, leave it in a comment or send me an email and just let me know and, and I'll pray with you and I covet your prayers too. Lord, thank you. I guess thank you, God, for the, your message um, that you just know right where we're at. Uh, you knew I circled self-control and obviously it came up in today's reading and so I will work on self-control. But Lord, I can't do it on my own. I can only do it with your help. Holy Spirit, please uh, help me with any self-control to say no to the loud voice of the world. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. God bless you guys. I will see you tomorrow morning to finish out Titus. And I'll see you then.